would always rather sing out loud than come quiet. So tell me more about this Rachel of yours. Oh, she was bad. The finest girl in all Detroit. <laughs> she had this voice. Best thing I ever heard. She always seemed to get away with everybody too, because she was just so beautiful. Sounds. Even with you. Oh, especially with me. I was in love with that girl. Whatever happened to her? She left me. Cold. Flat. <laughs> but I knew she'd come back. And who are you? So when did you get to New York City? When I came to the city about six months ago, to help my aunt out with things after my uncle passed. Uncle Nelson died? Cancer got him. It's no joke. Now's not the time to be talking about bad news. I'm, I can't believe this is really you. It's me, what? Not that fine girl from Detroit you remember anymore? See, I'd probably be the show if you sang a little bit. Everything else looks about right. We should kiss up sometime. Give me your number, Woody. <laughs> Woody? <laughs> wow, I've heard that in a minute. But uh, yeah, take this down. 718-619-1728. I got you. I <laughs> know, it's good to see you. I know. <laughs> I'm not mad. Yes, yes you, you are. are. Listen, I know you're mad, because every time you get mad, you start looking everywhere else and shaking your head. <laughs> anyway, I thought you said she was beautiful. She's a little sickly if you ask me. What are you doing? We have three weeks to get these characters together. I don't like the idea, my girl. Sick. If you want these roles, you have to completely let go and become somebody else. Yo, Mike. Mike, it's not worth it. Please. <coughs> Come on, you're gonna be late for this audition. You know, no matter how long you look at the thing, it's not going to change what it says. Stop. You know, I don't know why you choose to see me here instead of my real office. Because doctor offices are for sick people. Rachel, you are sick. So, does that mean you're, you're prepared to tell me my file says? I can handle it. It's not like we didn't know this was coming. Look, I'm not ready to tell you anything is over. I just want to try a few more things. You know, sometimes it's, it's best we accept things. Rachel, your family didn't come to me all those years ago for you to accept and give up. I'm not giving up. I'm still fighting. I'm just getting ready. Ready? For so whatever you tell me is next. Well, what's next is we're gonna get this transplant done in two weeks. I'm gonna get that done for you, okay? Tell me. Persistent. Rachel. Okay. 
okay? I don't sing anymore because I left that part of my life behind in Detroit. I don't believe it. Why else would you come to the big city? But I do have another important question to ask. Another question, Mike? Why'd you wait a week to call me? Oh, so you expected me to run home and call you? What perception would Miss Not Wifey get if she's seen a friend having a romantic meal <laughs> in the park with an old friend? She would probably think that it's a lot better than us going to a dark, secluded corner of the restaurant. I remember you love dark, secluded corners. I remember I was lonely. It's like you know exactly what to say, like you're the perfect guy. Like someone's always writing your lines for you, like you're reading a script. What are you doing? These things are disgusting and can kill you. Relax, it's full of roll. I will not relax. I have to care about what I breathe. What you breathe? Hold up. So you're telling me this is about you again? You're not even thinking about me? Wait, 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 wait. What? Just like when you left Detroit for the big city, you know, to pursue your music dreams? You left. You didn't even call. Nothing. I left you a letter. A letter? Really? Was that all we work to you? A letter? Or was that just the easiest thing for you? If you think all I ever thought about was what was best for me, then this whole thing was a bad idea. Be happy with wife. I don't have a wife. Why do you keep bringing her up anyway? So that's it. You're just gonna leave again. You're gonna leave again without even saying goodbye? Why do you look so pitiful and bitter? Why don't you just call her? Cousin. Call who? Shamika? Ew, no. I'm glad she dumped you after her last day. She didn't dump anybody, alright? Whatever. I ain't like the chick anyway. You know I was talking about Rachel. Leave it alone, Nelly. No. I'm not gonna leave it alone. You're always providing for everybody else. I never let her go the first time. You didn't go after her either. But you need to go find her. I'm not talking about this. Hello? Hey, I wasn't expecting to hear from... Alone? When? I'm on my way. Go get your girl. Thank you for coming, Mike. I know this is a little weird. Well, the situation is pretty unique. No <laughs> doubt you are a match to be a donor for Nelly. Are you serious? I mean, after all these years and all this looking, I mean, who knew what she was looking for was so close? Is there a problem? I'm sorry, Mr. Lewis. I'm just, uh, I was thinking of another patient. I just wasn't so fortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I guess we all can have a cousin that moved from Detroit. Ironically, she was from Detroit. <laughs> Detroit? Yep. Family brought her years ago for treatment and transplant. I mean, I have her folder here and I just can't seem to file it away. You can't just give up. I didn't. She did. Mr. Lewis.
You must be Mike. Two, two seconds. I'll be right back. Just wait here. My name's John, mate. I'm a friend of the family's. Cleaning out the apartment now. They took a body away this morning. Party? Mike, a long time ago, you told me something. And although I always hated to tell you this, you are right. You do pick up habits when you're in love. Unfortunately, when my family and I found out something that I needed, that you couldn't provide, I was forced to come to New York City. I didn't leave you because I didn't love you. I left you because I had to. About two years ago, my disease took away my singing voice. And if you are listening to this, then I decided not to let it take any more away from me. Promise me that no matter where your acting takes you, you will always keep my favorite role as the perfect guy. Love Rachel back always.